Yes, guys, I'm here at the Van Honks warehouse. Can you check see it in the background? Let's see. Well, there's my kayak, Van Honks. Um, yeah, we're gonna give you guys a quick tour of the warehouse and and skimp for a for a upgrade kayak. We'll do that at the end. Give them a blind side. No, I'm just kidding. And they know um, they're swapping out my Zambezi with a Pescador Pro. She's waiting for me. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. All right, we're walking into reception of Van Angs. As you can see, Chris, he'll welcome you with open arms. Normally he says you're the best fisherman here for, yeah. for extra sale. But like, they know me already now, so I'm not, I'm not that good anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys, yo, here's the reception. The guys will really welcome you with a warm, warm heart and open hands. And you can see all the gear behind me, the caps and everything. And you guys are doing Railblazer now, right? Yeah. So as you guys can see, Railblazer, these are perfect for the track mounts, especially on these Van Ogs kayaks. You can see there's a few rigged on kayaks. Awesome. And you guys have been selling a few of them? Yeah. Especially the camera mounts. Stickers. And the small mounts. This reception area it really gets you uh, some Florida vibes. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the mosaic. Sure. Mosaic? Yeah, oh, no, my girlfriend will be very impressed. With... Actually, I actually was at a mosaic class when I was like eight years old. So, Danny Dini, Donkey. It built up to 23 years old when I can actually <laughs> point out mosaic. Um, Yo, yeah, show me to the warehouse. Yeah, so you can come this way. This is my favorite part of visiting the warehouse. It's just seeing everything on display and all the new gear coming in every week, basically. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So you have four kayaks on the spare here. The Sauga, right? The Tandem. Yeah. So that's a two-seater. If you guys would want to go out with your mochi or your wife. If you're single. Or your fishing buddy. If, you, <laughs> if you're single, your fishing buddy. I want to yeah. say the cooler box can be at the other seat. Yeah, but sure. um, there's a lot of leg room if you're single. <laughs> there's a lot of, lot of leg room if you're not single as well. The pike, you have the pike if yeah, I'm not wrong. I've got the pike, yeah. The pike is an awesome all-rounder. I know the guys like them for bass especially, but you told me you caught a few shad yeah, on I mean, them. Well, yeah. shad on the pike. You should have you should have taken the, the shad out the shad, for the, the shad. shad yeah. um, we're at Gordon's Bar, right? Yeah. So you can take this one out on the sea as well. Fitted with the new deluxe seat. I know a lot of the kickboat guys are very interested in these seats proper. You can fold them down. I know some guys are very worried that the Straps will be in your weight casting, but it's so low. If you're casting that low, you got a problem. You, you're very flow. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're casting flow. Oh, it's nice to see that. It's, it's nice that it, it concaves in like that for your leg. Just so. And the pike, you have two seating options. You have, yeah. you can put it on the above one or on the lower one, as you guys can see. Nice fitted with the fin drive. This is basically the same setup than yours. Yeah. Same color. Yeah, no, I've got the aqua green. Aqua green. Yeah. Nice. And then you guys know the Zambezi. It's like the best all-round kayak ever. I've bass fished off this thing. I've grunter fished off this thing. What else have I caught of this? I've caught every species in South Africa bass in one day of this kayak in Bolzuk. And then that's probably my new one. Yeah. I'll probably be fishing with this Oki, the Pescador Pro, at the Feigerboom Small Craft League Nationals. But I'll be rigging out this one. So stay tuned for that one. Fish finders, trolling motors, lithium batteries. Let me know if you guys want lights in this one as well. I know I rigged the Mai up with lights. Let me know, comment down below. Um, and yeah, let's take you guys through the tour of the, of the rest of the warehouse. So here's all the stuff on display. We have all the cooler boxes. I heard this one is very nice from the back of the Yeah, because you seats. put it through your seat, yeah. Very nice. And it's a, it's a backpack, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so nice. And what's the temperature holding? Like, how long will it... So, I mean, we had it at the Expo, Cagney Expo in Malmesbury. And I think we had it there for two days. And we still had ice in it by the end of two days. So it was solid. Nice ice, ice baby. Yeah, and I mean, you yeah. can store eight bottles of wine in there, so... <laughs> eight bottles, only eight. Yeah, I think it's 20 cans of beer as well. So, And then you have your three different size. I'm actually not familiar with the, the coolers yes. at all. So you have three the different size. I know one of them, you have a track mount. You can so open your yeah. beer. So there's, there's track, track mounts. Yeah. 
so do so you nice. suggest is, yeah, you can get a Railblazer cup holder or something you pop on there as well. Or even, even a bucket that they've got as well. And maybe rod holders when you yeah, go yeah. to the beach. Yeah. This is, and you have your you have trolleys for the for so, the so this one has wheels on it the 70 liter that's has nice. wheels on it already but I mean that's more I wouldn't necessarily take that on the sand with the wheels but we have got beach carts and beach trolleys hey well. guys that does rock and serve are strong yeah <laughs> they don't have boats yeah. or guys the nice thing is you got you got bottle openers you can padlock it closed as well if and you, these how long do they keep temperature oh so this one's about two days this one's about three to four days this one's Five to seven days. Cheaper. So if you if you're going away for a weekend, yeah. yeah. Prep it first. So throw in a box, bottle of ice water. Yeah. So frozen a frozen bottle just to get the temperature down. Then throw your ice in and everything in, and it will stay cool. So you don't even need an electrical camping fridge if you're going over for a weekend. You can just rock up with exactly. one of these. Awesome. And I see your dry bags. I've been using these. Yeah. I have the blue one for for all my camera gear. On the kayak it works great the kayak is very very dry but you know tear bottles get choppy and the wind picks up and yo on the ocean but yeah, i'm i'm a sissy i get seasick i like the dams it's safe and predictable not tear bottles but the rest are um, no these i've been using them a lot and there's a lot of space in these really a lot of space i've been enjoying them a lot you can see your life vest i have the green one I know a lot of guys are looking for life vests in the small craft league market. These are very comfortable and there's a lot of storage in there for your phone if you want to take your photos of your fish in the gutter um, or trough rather. Now this is super nice. Sorry, I'm just going to chuck this. I don't, know, I don't have another hand to, <laughs> to put it up on the shelf. And then yeah, you guys got in a new... Um, yeah, new stuff, yeah. This one. Soft stuff, right? Yeah. It's What's the difference between this one and the, the original one? So, so this one is only one layer of PVC, where this one's two layers of PVC. And okay. you'll see that this one is, um, this is 10 foot 6, and that one's 10 foot. So it's slightly longer, but the nice thing is with it being one layer of PVC is it's 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 a lot cheaper to make. Also, awesome. so it makes it a bit more affordable. So, so it's more for your weekend warriors, guys just going yeah, out for the weekend yeah. enjoying the river. For holidays, you know, it's, you're not using it every weekend. You're just using it when you go on holiday. Nice to pack up for the family. Nice budget yeah. friendly option. Exactly. Are you guys selling the track mounts separately yeah. as well now? Yeah. Yes, like it. You can put this up on anything. So this is for your track mounts. This is basically where you can rig up all your rod holders and your fish finders and everything. I don't know you guys were selling these. Yeah. Anything new coming into the shop except for Railblazer and track marks? We are in the talks of bringing... <gasps> oh, nice. But that is still in the works. Um, yeah, and then we would also see... A <gasps> and I saw new trolleys up in front yes um, yeah. i'm very excited about them. yeah this I've... is the new ones we just brought in so they both come in a hard wheel and a inflatable wheel variation oh, nice. so you'll see this is the sit on top we're calling it the sea dog for now the sea dog <laughs> yeah oh, sea dog. That's a, yeah that's a very so good nice name. thing is this one you can see you can adjust it so you can use it for any type of kayak i mean be it a small thin or a, a wider kayak nice okay so it's adjustability yeah. for i yeah. want to say the grooves of the kayak you can see uh, yeah. that's what it's talking about the adjustability so you screw these ones loose yeah and you'll just slide it in. and this will slide around aha uh -huh. can do it with one end that's very nice yeah. so it, it will fit all the kayaks basically every right? kayak and should fit no strap needed for these no ones. so n not really i mean obviously if you're pulling it over sand and stuff like that there's a bit more friction then or a bit more resistance and obviously the kayak might pull off but then you can just tie it on and it'll be fine but we found with a lot of ours you can just pop it on and just drag it and it's good to go. Awesome. And there's another one. This one goes through the scuffer. Yeah, this right? is the Sea Dog scuffer trolley. Yeah. The Sea Dog. So you'll see now it's actually nice because they've added padding on here to protect the scuffer holes. And then obviously it sits comfortable on these um, fittings. And then yeah, you've obviously got your back spring which you can move to close it oh, or open it. Side. Yeah, Very so cool. at least when you're putting your kayak down, you're not actually resting your kayak on the floor. So awesome. yeah. Guys, with all the new stuff coming in, and there's a sea dog, I think they should have a Lewis fishing model or something, right? <laughs> Comment down below. I don't know, make a name, LF or something like that, Lewis fishing model. If you want something down below, um, yeah, comment if you want a Lewis fishing model coming out. I don't know, something that's very bad. But yeah, you don't have bad something products. Something that can't, yeah, that doesn't so, catch um, fish. You'll just, yeah. <laughs> also, very excited. I don't know if you guys heard, Van Anks is not a kayak only i want to say not kayak i want to say water brand 
anymore. They're bringing in awesome rooftop tents. Um, how many models are you guys bringing in? We've got three different models. Um, so this one here, you've got the Vega. Sorry, this is actually the Oryx. Oryx. This is the Oryx. This only comes in one size. Um, as you can see, it's a clamshell. And the nice thing is on the back, you can see here, there's actually accessory rails. So you can put on a solar panel, you can put on a, a more roof rack bar, so you can put on a kayak or a bicycles for the weekend. Yeah. So, you're basically mounting this on the back of your bucky yes and then you can mount stuff on top of this as correct well. so, you so put if, even you, more. if it's your daily like you don't even have to worry about it because you can still use yes this to put stuff on top and this of. one's extremely streamlined i mean you'll see it literally is so you don't have to worry about fuel consumption at all yeah and i heard like 50 or 60 k kilo yeah right? yeah yeah so just leave your kid at home and take exactly <laughs> Yeah, and then back here we've got the canyon, which is this one here, which you can see, which is quite nice, is this one has hydraulic arms. Oh, so great. to open and close it is easy as literally just touching it and it's open and closed. It looks like that car from Cars that has the suspension. It goes, <laughs> I think it's the blue, no, it's a purple one. I'll, I'll put a, <laughs> a video somewhere of that, but it lets me think. And then this is the last one. Yeah, this is the Vega. Vega. Yeah, so this one has two sizes. So the, this is the big version, which when it's open is 2.2 by 2.2, and the smaller version is 1.6 by 2.2. And I mean, the smaller version fits on front runner roof racks. I mean, it fits fit on my Jimny. So I mean, really nice, small, compact, but opens up to cover a ton of space. I think the viewers would like me to climb in there yes. for size comparison, yeah, yeah. right? Can yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yes, so this thing is you. Like you can fit in like four people, three people here, yeah, easily. I don't have friends, but that would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice if you had friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, that as well. <laughs> Just so like you can it. either sleep that way or you can sleep. Or you can sleep like, oh, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we sleep like this. And yeah. then the doors on the side you can open as well. Yeah, they got mosquito nets on them and normal opening. Yes, and you would think like for a mattress, I'm a, I'm a big mattress guy i want to say i'm full of nonsense with my mattresses but it doesn't i want to say sleep through you don't feel anything underneath these mattresses are yeah. very nice and then also on the sides here you've got places you can put your shoes so you're not always bringing in your dirty feet or whatever so oh. you can always just pop in i mean you don't have to put shoes in it you can put whatever you want but yeah you all know this this would be very nice just like it and then the ladder included yes so the ladder you'll see the ladder is actually a part of this one so when it folds up when it folds in lift the platform and it'll plonk it in ah. oh okay, i see what yeah, you yeah. Well, i need my shoes <laughs> <laughs> yes, so this is such a nice setup sure now don't mind these old flip-flops <laughs> they're really good let me take the camera back from you and yes guys you should see the amount of stock in this place how many <laughs> containers is coming through here in a week? Cheaper. Look at this. You guys sure you have enough stock? Yeah, we definitely do enough. <laughs> yes, sir. Like, let me just give you guys an idea, right? Yes. One row, stock to the back and to the roof. <laughs> a second row, to the back and more filled at the back and to the roof. Oh, I can see all the fin drives there. And a third row, jeepers. No, you guys, it, it shows you. I mean, if this is going through, there's a whole lot of guys that's really loving your products. I do. Because <laughs> you guys are my friends as well. Yeah. I don't have a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, awesome. Now, thanks for taking me through the, the warehouse and everybody else, Chris. No, it's no problem. It's really a pleasure. Um, where are you guys based? Where is this? So we're based in Montague Gardens in Cape Town, um, Unit 1, 6 Jig Road. Awesome. That's I'll us. put the location in the description, guys. I'll put the link for my affiliate code as well. So if you guys want to shop through Van Angst, just click on the link below. Easy as that. And Chris, we'll sort out your shipping. I will sort out your So it's never the courier's <laughs> fault, right? <laughs> it's never, the, it's always Chris's fault, all right? If your product comes there, damage or late. I'll put down his numbers. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, we had a joke beforehand about that. Um, no, it's a courier's fault. It's never Van Angst does everything perfectly and to the T. It's a courier's fault. 
But awesome guys, thank you for tuning in for such a short birds fishing video, but I think this is a very fun one. I think a whole lot of guys really wanted to see Van Angs and what they're all about. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying my kayak the last year, going over from a kick boat, it's so nice to stand. I mean, I'm getting old, so my back is really hurting me when I'm sitting all day. Um, so uh, yeah, awesome, very excited for the new kayak. I'll take you guys along the journey for that rigging it up and getting it right for, for nationals, really prepping hard for nationals. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. One more course. Let's go.